So just to say, as I say, there is some of the girls actually here, there's 13 students on the master's programme. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, not because I think I'm that important, but I think if you're thinking of doing a master's, it's a tough programme and you need to know something about the person that's coordinating the programme and the values of UCD. I am a, I'm sure you can guess by my vintage, I'm a certificate trained midwife. And you heard Maria saying that I'm Dr. Denise O'Brien. So I consider myself a midwife with a PhD and I got that last year. And last year was a great year for me. I was 20 years qualified as a midwife. And 20 years ago, Dublin won the All-Ireland and it was great. In 2015, we won it again. So again, that's giving you, that's me. Um, and obviously I've, I've spent this long in education studying. Midwifery education is really important to me, but also here in UCD. I've been here since 2006. And we started to develop this program in 2011, Maria, wasn't it? And we've been working on it since. And I think, and we think, that we now have a program that really, and we've also, as well as looking at the needs of midwifery, we've looked at the strategy. So we've changed it and we've revised it, um, particularly in the last two years. And we have new changes for September 2016, which I think are really important for you. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the program. But just to say that UCD is a little bit different in our structures. Our year starts early. It's a 12-week semester. We begin the beginning of September. That means you finish early. So it works with family life. And just to say, I'm sure you've guessed, we're all midwives. And apart from that, a lot of us are mothers as well. So we have worked full-time and studied. It is possible. And because of that, we know the supports that you need. So that's a big part of it. Apart from giving you the program that we think you need that is relevant, but also we want to try and make it as flexible and as accessible for working mothers and midwives because it is difficult and it's a difficult journey but we've done it and it's possible and I keep saying I'm a midwife with a PhD and certificate trained and I worked full time and I'm a mother okay and I suppose part of how we deliver a program apart from the content is providing the supports you need so our program is very flexible we have a 12 week semester of those 12 weeks you do not need to be here 12 weeks the majority of the modules range eight, nine weeks, but some of our modules actually you only have to come into UCD three times. Okay, so don't think that it's, don't think, oh, I couldn't sign up to it, it's a day and a half for a full year. Remember, it starts at the beginning of September, class ends the end of November. We don't, that's it, you do your assessments, we're modulized, you're not back till the end of January. Okay, and so when you break it down that, it's much more manageable. So from the end of January to the end of April is semester two. You finish your exams, everything done, dusted by mid-May. Year one is over, summer off, okay? Okay, you need that to recover. And then get into year two, early September, keep going till November, finish November, back in January. So what have we done that we think fits the market, okay? And this is what's brilliant. This master's, I started my master's in 2000, okay? And it was MSc nursing slash midwifery. And I'm just going to leave it at that, okay? I enjoyed my master's because it was education, but there was very few midwives in UCD. Now you've met Maria. You can see the caliber of our team. We are very hardworking and we're very pro midwifery. There's 10 of us. So this master's was developed by midwives, for midwives, and with midwives. And I think that's really important. Apart from us, the team, there's a lot of partnership with our collaborators, okay? So quickly, because I, I know it's been a long day. The options that you have, and just to say, the other thing is, I did my PhD in informed choice. Choice is really important to me. It's important to us in UCD, so our master's offers a lot of choice. Because you'll only do a master's, you know, if you really need to do it, if you want to do it. And people want to do it for different reasons. So we've tried to provide a master's that suits if you want to go down management, advanced practice, leadership, or if you just want to do it for yourself. So here's the masters that will run in September and these structures have just been approved and it's going ahead. So I'll say core, that means you have to do it and then options so there'll be choices, okay? So the first core module and just to say this is a level nine masters program and some of these modules that you can take, you can take a standalone and then some will give you a professional certificate and I'll explain that as I go along. So the first one is a 10 credit and you can take this as a standalone module. So say you decide, oh God, I couldn't sign up to a master's because there's something on next year, but I'd love to take that module. You can take the following module and get 10 credits and knock that off next year, the following year, so you don't have to do it. So it's a first module is enhancing physiological birth and midwifery practice. Just to say the first thing I did as soon as I finished the PhD was I've always been interested in hypnobirthin. I used it myself. I always thought the students did, so the first thing I did when I qualified the PhD was went off into the program, and now I'm a hypnobirther. You know, these, we, one of the team is also a qualified acupuncturist, um, 
uh, hip homeopathy, she's involved in that module. The, some of the community midwives in the National Maternity Hospital are involved in that module. So it's enhancing physiological birth in midwifery practice core, 10 credits. It's going to be a fabulous module. Um, the next module is core, and that's leadership and health systems. So that's not only just about leadership, but it's about the health systems in the Irish context and comparing internationally. It's an important thing. Look at where we are, and we have really come on since I qualified 20 years ago. We really have, but there's a lot of change, and midwives, we've all said it, we need a voice, we need leadership, and this is what we're trying to do with our programme. So that's one module. And then your options then are the examination of the newborn module, which again is a 12 week from September to Christmas, very clinically focused. This is available as a professional certificate. So you could take this as a standalone and get a professional certificate, which is worth 10 credits. And then the one thing I'd say about that module, Caroline is a module coordinator. Um, the one thing with this module, before you sign up to this, you have to have an agreement with your employer that you will have somebody who will assess you. So somebody in the clinical practice has to assess you for this because this is a theory side in semester one and then from January through to the end of April you need to get 40 clinical examinations so you need buy-in from your, your hospital basically. So that's an option. And the other option is Women, Gender and Health with Dr. Abby or Professor Abby Hyde. It's an amazing module if you're interested in feminism, sociology. That's very blended. Three sessions, the rest are all online. So it makes it very flexible. So generally Tuesdays, modules run on Tuesdays, that's semester one. So you've finished all that by Christmas, you take from the end of November, come back to us the end of January, and there's a lot of options in semester two, year one. So core then is Maria's module, and this is part of it, today's session, evidence-based decision-making in midwifery practice. And people have presented their work from this module. So it's more than just a module and take, you know, do an assignment, it's actually a benefit to you. Then there's research methods, so always research in the masters. Um, and then the, their core, and then these are your options. We've given four options. Developing leadership competency. So think about what's that, competency and leadership. It's, it, you know, it's important for us. Just look, and, we, and as I say, we've looked in maternity strategy. You know, what do midwives of the future need? The other one is clinical governance. Really important to midwifery practice. Management and action, another one very important. And then here's another. This again is a top clinical module and this is new. This is our new module. Very excited about this. This is going to run in January 2017 and it's enhanced maternity care for the critical ill woman. We're sharing this with the School of Medicine. It's going to be a very strong clinically focused module offered as a professional cert. Can be taken as an option on the masters. And again, it'll run over one module a lot of blended learning, but a, a strong clinical focus as well. You'll finish the end of April in class, finish your assignments, get your results in June, enjoy your summer. Year two, and year two, and we've developed this specifically. We had the choice and we made the choice that midwives have to do research in our masters because if we're going to engage in change, you need the confidence to do research. Like everything's, oh, that's not for me. Remember, I'm a certificate trained midwife and I finished my PhD last year. I did a master's here and I did research but I just finished my PhD last year in informed choice which, which is incredible. It had never been researched in this country before which is incredible. Nobody had ever asked women before what did informed choice mean for them so that's what I looked at. So research is really important for midwives. So year two you do one long module which is all research. So in year one, we say start thinking about what are you going to do for that dissertation? And we will support you through that. You've met Maria, you've now met Maria. M Margaret Follin is up above there, give away Mike. So we have a, a lot of experience in supervising midwives. So your research supervisor will have a strong midwifery background and that's important. There's 10 of us. Um, and the other options, you, the three strands of research, you can decide to do a standard research or you can look at a project in your hospital that you would like to you know, initiate that. So that's called a PEP, that's what we call that project, or you could do action research. So you have three strands of research, but that's it, just one piece of research. Imagine, imagine I'm saying that, just one piece of research. But the advantage is you're given a whole year, you're being given one whole year to do that with your supervisor, with nothing else. So you'll have the headspace to do it. So starting in September, you will know, you, you really will know because we will encourage you to be ready to go in September, have decided what you're doing and submit that the following summer. And that's your master's completion and we believe it's a very relevant, doable, it'll be hard work but it'll be well worth it. And this, 
this is where Midrach is going. 